Today we got a pretty crazy story of a Minecraft kid who ruins the school play. I know you'll enjoy this, so let's get into it. We're going to call the subscriber who submitted this story Robert. So anyways, Robert was in the fifth grade, and the fifth grade play was, a, was like the big thing at his school. Everyone was, that was like the big deal that everyone would talk about, everyone would, everyone would be excited for. And it was like, a, it was almost like a coming of age celebration. It was almost like you are now, and you are now really a true middle schooler once you've completed the fifth grade play. And all the fourth, third, second, first, whatever graders really enjoyed watching it as it was always kind of a fun, it was a fun event. Basically the whole lower school type Type thing had the entire day off when the fifth grade play was they were able to watch it uh, in the afternoon and they basically got a half day on that day so it was also really fun because they were able to go home early and it was like no classes or whatever so it was a really fun celebration it was just a really great time how it, anyways so the auditions for the fifth grade play happened about one to two months before the play actually happened and Robert was pretty excited. Robert had no intentions of having, I don't know, like a main role or anything, but he was just excited to be part of the fifth grade play as that was a pretty big deal. So anyways, you know, it's the day of the auditions and there's only, you know, the, the play has already been written and it's been chosen and it's like, I don't know, it's always like one of these classic fairy tales or whatever. So they're maybe do or like a classic story. So for this year, they're doing James and the Giant Peach. I remember when I was actually, I think in second or third grade, my third grade play or second grade play was also James and the Giant Peach. And I had a great time doing that. And apparently it was a good play, according to my mom. She wouldn't be biased, right? She, <laughs> she wouldn't tell me it was a great play, even though it wasn't, right? Anyways, though, so it was James and the Giant Peach, so you got, like, all the... I, I kind of forgot the story, but uh, anyways, I, th I think I was a grasshopper or something, so you got, like, a grasshopper as a character. I don't know, man. But anyways, the important thing to know is that there was no creeper from Minecraft in James and the Giant Peach. That might sound like a really, really weird fact, like, okay, Connor, yeah, and there also was no Darth Vader in James and the Giant Peach. I can list weird, un unimportant facts as well. However, this is correctly a weird fact. However, it's not unimportant, as you will soon see. Because there's another character that is time for me to introduce, and he will be known as the Minecraft Kid. So anyways, right, the Minecraft Kid is obsessed with Minecraft. It's a great game. It's the background gameplay for a lot of my games. I actually got a lot of my videos. I just got it for my friends a couple nights ago too, so we can casually like flip it on if we got nothing better to do. It's a great game. I do enjoy it a lot. However, this kid's entire life was Minecraft, and when I was in fifth grade, I was kind of similar. I have really enjoyed the game as well, and it was a big part of my childhood, so I don't blame him. However, he went a little bit far. So anyways, let's skip to the day of the auditions. So James was there, uh, Robert, sorry. I'm thinking of like James and the Giant Peach. So if I call Robert James, I'm sorry, you know what I mean. Anyway, so Robert and everyone in the fifth grade was there. There was a lot of buzz, a lot of excitement. There were definitely some kids who were like really ready and really wanted specific parts. So they were a little bit stressed out. Robert was just here to have a good time and was excited to be part of something bigger that he remembered always enjoying when he was a little kid. And now he was on the stage instead of him being in the audience watching. So anyways, Robert is just there and it's very chill. How However, Robert also witnesses the Minecraft kid. And the Minecraft kid goes up to the director and is basically asking, like, hey, director, I want the role of the creeper. Like, I want to be the creeper that comes in and explodes. And the, dir <laughs> the director looks at him and kind of goes, eh, what? Uh, like, bro, what? what? He's like, uh, I'm sorry, Minecraft kid. Um, there is no creeper. I'm not sure if that is. But that, that's very much not a thing in this play. Like, here are the roles, like, uh, just so it's clear, just so you know, as I'm sure is a misunderstanding. Here are the characters you can, uh, that we're gonna, the people can audition for. Uh, here are the roles. Also, if you don't want to be a character, you can always be in the, you know, the behind the scenes, uh, coordinating, Lightroom, whatever you want to do like that. Uh, yeah, so that's also an option. But uh, yeah, here are the people, like, that you can audition for if you want a speaking part. And the Minecraft kid kind of looks at him and says... No, 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 you don't understand. I want to be the, I want to be the creeper. I want to be the creeper that comes in and goes, <laughs> the, uh, the, the guy kind of looks at him and is like, hey man, like, I'm sorry. These are the roles. I can't change it now. We've already got the script. I'm sorry. Minecraft's kid is not very happy. However, he still gets a role as more of a background character. I don't know exactly, but he does have some, he does have some airtime, but he doesn't have a ton. So anyways, right, uh, you know, for the next couple months or so, they're, they're uh, practicing, 
They're learning their lines. They're on stage. And every single... And Robert just gets a sense from the Minecraft kid that he's just not feeling it. He's not super energized. He's just not super into it. Robert doesn't understand that the reason why is he is the Minecraft kid is super bummed out that he cannot be a creeper and explode and, like, do Minecraft stuff and James and the Giant Peach. Uh, I don't know. Robert just thinks that the kid just isn't super excited about it, which, you know, that's totally fine. I mean, that's not a crime or anything. So, anyways, right... Uh, you know, Robert and uh, everyone else starts to get prepared as it's only a couple weeks until the actual audition. And that's when Robert overhears the Minecraft kid talking to, like, his one other friend. And the Minecraft kid is like, man, like, I don't understand why I could have been the creeper. Like, my role now is, like, fine or whatever, but I just know that being the creeper would be so, so much better. I just know for a fact. And, you know, the director, I know he'll thank me. I know he'll be, like, proud of me if I do what I think is right. And when Robert hears this... He's just a little bit confused in general, because he's like, uh, I don't totally understand what this kid means, but whatever, I guess. And, uh, he doesn't understand that, you know, this kid is basically alluding that he will be, uh, that he will be taking this play into his own hands, basically. And, uh, yeah, you guys are about, are about to see what this, what the Minecraft kid is talking about, and it is quite interesting. By the way, if you made it as far into the video, comment Minecraft down below, I'll try and heart a bunch of those comments. Anyways, though... So yeah, the, uh, you know, they go back to, it's, let's say, skip ahead to, like, the day before. And it is, like, there's a lot of nerves, there's a lot of tension, basically everyone has their lines down. It's really just, like, the final rehearsal, the final rundown. And by the end of it, Robert and everyone else involved is really excited because they all did a very good job. And the director, you know, brings them together at the end of it and says, guys, you have, like, gone above and beyond my expectations. I've done this for many years, like, I've been the fifth grade play director every single time and i don't want to point out favorites but you guys have been very 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 good like you guys have it way down congratulations tomorrow's gonna be a victory lap let's go out and kill it so they you know they leave with the cheer whatever and there's a lot of excitement in the air the next day comes around and it is an exciting day but not for the reasons why people believe it would be because as you will see the minecraft kid decides that he's going to take the fate of this play into his own hands as you'll see how he does it. So anyways, right, you know, Robert and everyone, they're behind stage. And, uh, you know, they're doing, like, vocal warm-ups. They're going over lines one last time, even though everyone knows their lines inside out and backwards. If you wanted, like, say, hey, say your lines in pig Latin, they could probably do it at this point. That's just the level that they have this play down to. So it's all really exciting. And uh, that's when Robert, because you know how you just, like, randomly think of stuff? has to do with, like, the way your mind works, like, the, the way that, like, stuff pops together, like, kind of got, like, neural network and things connect to each other. Very interesting how your mind works. But sometimes something will flash to something, it will connect to something, it will connect to something within a millisecond, and then immediately you'll think of something. So some kind of, like, something like that happened. I said something, like, way too much in my explanation, but something like that happened, and somehow Robert remembers just it flashes to him the minecraft kid saying that he's going to take the play into his own hands and he thinks about that for a second and he's like well the minecraft kid is here and he doesn't seem to be doing anything weird so i guess he doesn't do it and robert unfortunately was very incorrect with this statement because anyways uh yeah uh, it, the play goes on it is um you know it is like five minutes till everyone packs into the like the place where they're doing the play it's like a little room with a bunch of chairs and a theater set and they got a whole like stage too which is pretty sick and uh, yeah everyone's packed in there everyone's really excited all the lower school kids are excited because like they not only get to see the play but it's also a half day for them so it's just a great day in general and it was on a friday so it's like the most hype combination of all time you get a play you get a half day and you're about to go home to start the freaking weekend like it is a great day for everyone right now but anyways Back to it, and uh, sure enough, you know, they're all just kind of like waiting around backstage, and no one can find the Minecraft kid. The Minecraft kid is missing in action, and, uh, you know, the director is a little concerned. While the Minecraft kid doesn't have a ton of lines, he still has one or two, and he's still on stage. It's not like this is a background character that can, like, or this isn't a guy behind the stage that maybe the play director can fill in for or have someone do his task. So the play director's like, okay, and he turns to another background character, um, returns to everyone basically says if the minecraft kid doesn't show you remember his two lines or whatever you d none of his lines are like 
for example, the Minecraft kid doesn't have a line that sparks another person for, like, important dialogue. It's not like he asks an integral question. He basically just, like, adds a little bit of dialogue in here and there. So they're like, okay, basically, if he's not here, all we gotta do is skip over where his line should be. I know that's gonna mess you guys up. Oh, like, I know that could mess you up, but it really shouldn't. Um, you know, stuff like this always happens last minute. You guys are still gonna kill it no matter what. Let's go out there. And the Minecraft kid is not there yet. So anyways, right, you know, the play continue. the play starts, and, uh, they just kind of get into it, no problem at all, and when the first line of what the Minecraft kid is supposed to have comes up, they just skip it, and they keep going. Still, at this point, there's no Minecraft kid. However, that is about to change. So anyways, Robert is now behind stage, because, like, for this next scene, he is not in, but he's going in in the next scene. And that's when he sees the door open behind stage. And someone walks in. It is the Minecraft kid. He walks in, and he is in a full creeper outfit he bought off Amazon. And this is when Robert remembers that the, the Minecraft kid was talking about how he was going to take this play into his own hands, and that he wanted to be a creeper on the first day. And this is where Robert starts to put two and two together, and is like, oh no, dude. Oh, no. And so sure enough, the Minecraft kid, like, the play director's like, where have you been? Like, we had to, like, change the entire play because of you. And Minecraft kid says, looks at him and says, thank me later, and then proceeds to walk right by him. No one stops him because they're so just like, what is this kid doing, right? And uh, he walks right, right by both of them, and he just walks onto the stage, and the director's like, oh, my God. And the Minecraft kid walks onto the stage, and Robert kind of peeks his head around and kind of, like, looks at, uh, kind of, like, looks through the curtain, so it's not obvious that he's watching, but that he watches what the Minecraft kid's about to do. So the other kids are in the middle of a scene, and one of them notices the Minecraft kid walk on stage in a freaking creeper outfit. Like, it is the most ridiculous thing of all time, and they're just looking at him. And in their heads, they're just like, what the, f what? What's going on here? Like, what is going on here, bro? What? And uh, slowly, everyone on stage starts to get a little bit distracted as the Minecraft kid struts on stage in his creeper outfit. And, okay, so there's a set on stage with some, like, some trees or whatever for some reason. And uh, so they're still going through with the lines. But you know how, like, someone says the lines really confidently, but when someone is distracted, like when a Minecraft kid walks on stage in a full creeper suit, you might be distracted. They'll say their lines correctly, but maybe with less focus and less passion. Basically, that's what was happening as all the kids got distracted. And the audience was a little bit confused, but they were also like, well, the fifth grade play can be experimental at times. Maybe they brought on a creeper just for, like, the ha-has because Minecraft's really popular right now. However, the Minecraft kid runs onto the stage and is like, goes up and stands next to everyone on the cast. Robert is watching this completely aghast, completely like, oh my god, like, this is insane. And the Minecraft kid is just standing there next to everyone else. And it's really awkward because he's completely messing up the flow of everything. And the other kids, they continue on their lines and they try and pretend like to not notice the Minecraft kid which is extremely difficult because he's in a full-blown creeper outfit and he's just standing there when they were told, like, oh, just ignore him. Like, he's not actually here. It's fine. But no, the Minecraft kid is standing on stage. He's in his creeper outfit and he's just looking at them. And you might be thinking, oh, well, the kid just got on stage for a scene or something. No, 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 no. It gets worse. So in the middle of one of the kids saying their line, they hear this. <laughs> Kind of this, like, okay, maybe a better creeper noise than this. But the Minecraft kid in his creeper outfits starts hissing. And if you guys don't know, in Minecraft, the creeper is this green thing that goes around and hisses at people, then explodes. And so, yeah, the Minecraft kid starts hissing on stage in his creeper outfit. And Robert, who is someone who's played enough Minecraft to know how the creeper works, realizes, oh my god, this kid's gonna do, like, some kind of explosion type thing. And so whoever was saying their lines, instead of just being distracted, they literally just stopped saying the line because this was, like, really just... This was bad. Like, they were completely distracted by this. They were completely taken off guard by this. And they all just started watching the Minecraft kid, kid go... Sss, and then all of a sudden, the Minecraft kid went... Kaboom! He just, like, said an explosion sound effect. And then he sprinted 
into the trees, right, the props that were behind him, knocking them all over and going, basically making explosion noises and starts rolling around, breaking the bits of trees off that the art department worked on or whatever, stands up, kicks over another tree, pushes over another one, and then runs off stage. I'm just going to let that scene sink into you guys for a little bit. The Minecraft kid dressed up in a creeper suit, in the middle of a play, runs on stage, makes explosion noises, and then runs off stage after destroying all the props. So at this point, the director was like, this in his head was probably like, this play was so perfect, are these kids going to recover? However, the kids on set are actually should be actors when they grow up because they recover perfectly. They somehow make it into the storyline, like one of the kids was like, what was that? Was that a figment of our imagination? And then another kid was like, wow, I think we're going crazy. Like, we gotta get, like, we gotta focus in. And then they continue on. They literally just continue on like nothing happened. Everyone in the audience started laughing, and they didn't, and some of them, I think some of them realized that something was up. But a lot of them, I supposedly thought that that was part of the play. So maybe he doesn't entirely ruin it. But it's not over yet. Because anyways, the, Robert sees the play director run to the other side of the stage and try and get to, like, the Minecraft kid. Try and catch him. However, the Minecraft kid is running around backstage in his creeper outfit trying to run away from the director. And when all this is happening, the kids on stage are, like, saying their lines or whatever. But the thing is, the Minecraft kid accidentally runs into something, like, something on the stage that was super, like, important to the structure of it. And he accidentally bumps into something that was really fragile. I don't know exactly what it was, but I know what happened next. And uh, the title, Minecraft Kid Ruins the School Play, wasn't because he ran on stage in a creeper outfit and exploded all the trees or whatever. It was because he did this. The Minecraft Kid ran into something that was super important for the, uh, for the curtains, and he knocked them over. So all of a sudden, the curtains fall down, fall down on all the cast members. A wooden beam falls, thankfully doesn't hit anyone. The backstage curtain falls down, exposing everyone in the back of the cast. The entire audience starts gasping and talking. It is a disaster. The whole stage falls apart, basically. And that's when the director comes on after a minute and says, technical difficulties, everyone, please, like, let's have a 20-minute recess. So the teachers are now informed to tell all the kids to go up and leave for a second, and that's when they're assessing the damage. And unfortunately, the damage done to the stage was so bad that they could not continue the school play. The kids were let out early. It was still a fun day of celebration. However, the Minecraft kid did ruin the school play for all of them. So the Minecraft kid did get in trouble because, you know, this was against some kind of school rules. He didn't get, like, I think he might have gotten, like, suspended for a little bit. He didn't get expelled or anything. But the main thing he had to do was he had to write an apology letter that he had to read in front of the play director and everyone in the play. Because a lot of people were pretty upset because, like, that was their moment. And they weren't able to have their moment because the Minecraft kid ruined their moment, basically. And the Minecraft kid probably did feel pretty bad about it. But uh, yeah, moral of the story is even if you think something's a really good idea, um, make sure it's not you being a creeper and running on stage and blowing stuff up because that's probably a bad idea. Leave a like if you haven't already. And if you want to support the channel, literally all you have to do is watch another video. It helps even more than you think. Bye. Click on the video on screen right now. I know you'll enjoy it. Just click it. Do it.